Good morning, everyone, uh, and welcome to ASFPM's 43rd Annual National Conference here in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, this is, I'm, I'm so excited to be here um, because um, as, as some of you know, uh, I'm a transplant from Northwest Oklahoma, but this is actually my hometown, so bringing ASFPM here is really something I'm very excited, very proud of. So, so um, thank you so much to the Cleveland host, the, the uh, Ohio host team uh, for, for uh, doing that and uh, the warm welcome here. I hope that all of you have had an enjoyable conference experience so far. Um, yesterday was full of workshops and had tours and policy work, all the kind of interesting stuff uh, that we do with ASFPM. Uh, and uh, as I was uh, walking through the exhibit hall this morning, somebody came up to me and showed me the USA Today as if we need to know what we're doing and why we're doing it. And I believe it was above the fold, uh, but basically it was a headline that talked about coastal communities um, facing dire situation because of projected uh, six feet of sea level rise by 2100. And isn't that the reality of daily life here in the United States now? When I got into this field in 1993, um, large floods happened. They were relatively infrequent. Then we go to 2005 and we had Katrina. And at, uh, in the aftermath of Katrina, as we're all working uh, towards building a more resilient future, there were lots of voices saying, well, you know what, that's the outlier. Um, you know, that's going to be the kind of the once in a lifetime kind of an event. Then we had Sandy. And you had a few less voices saying that. Um, but still, okay, you know, that's kind of the once in a lifetime event. And then we had um, flooding in 2015, 2016, Harvey, Maria, Irma, and you get the picture. Uh, and one of the things that anecdotally I hear all across the country as I'm talking to our chapters and our members and things is that um, something's changing. I don't know exactly what it is, can't put my finger on it, but we're having these more intense rainfalls. And of course, in the coastal communities, you compound that with sea level rise and flood risk is increasing. Certainly you look at the statistics and it is obvious there in terms of disaster assistance, whatever metric you wanna look at, costs are increasing. And it really is all of you in this room that are on the front lines of that particular fight. Uh, and so I wanted to um, start by saying thank you for all the work that you do as uh, in your respective area in floodplain management, whether you're that local official uh, permitting development or dealing in the aftermath of a flood, which we know is one of the harder jobs in the world. Um, if you're a state official um, working with mitigation programs, uh, state floodplain manager, whether you're a private sector um, uh, staff person, you're making maps, you're doing engineering studies, um, you're doing other analysis, you're, you're doing building design work. Um, whether you're a scientist or federal agency official, uh, and, and working through uh, the different policies and programs that we have in this country to reduce flood risk, um, or if you're just the private citizen looking to reduce your risk in your own backyard. It takes a community to make a resilient community. And the challenge that we should go from Cleveland this year is I hope that this conference is something that energizes you I hope you come from this conference with an absolute splitting headache because you cannot possibly stuff another piece of information in your head and go forth and do the great work uh, of flood loss reduction in this country. We need you. We need your time, your talent, your expertise. And I also want to thank all of those that um, dared to submit papers and are going to be presenting. We have an awesome uh, conference agenda and concurrence. Uh, so for the hundreds of presenters, I also thank you. And, um, and again, let's, let's get rocking on with this, uh, with this uh, 43rd annual conference. So with that, I will, actually, I will ask uh, Maria cox Lamb, the ASFPM chair, to come up um, uh, to go ahead and kick off our plenary session. Thank you. <laughs> 